hello everyone let's start our today's session of uh, interview question answer series in today's session there will be the first question what are the non numeric data types in ABAP so there are generally five non numeric data types which is being used very frequently in ABAP C character N numeric character D date t time and a string data types okay initial value for character is blank initial value for the numeric data type is zero initial value of date data type is eight times zero and for the time data type six times zero length over here for date eight characters here for uh, character data type 8 bytes and for the time 6 characters and a string it's unlimited okay the left justified or right justified character data type and a string data type both are left justified numeric data type it is always padded with uh, zero uh, the meaning of this means uh, when you are going to define a numeric data type for example lb underscore type numc5 and when you try to print this one you know automatically the four zero in beginning it will be appended if it, its length is five its length is six then automatically five zero will be appended in beginning okay now what is user defined data types in ABAP there are three user defined data types in ABAP data element structure and table type okay with reference to data element you can declare a variable okay with reference to a structure you can declare a work area with reference to table type you can declare one internal table so this is direct use of the table type structure okay now what is the different system variables in ABAP we have the size of RC, we have the side datum we have sci tabix, sci index, sci ujit, sci of depots, and sci zone low. Sci sub RC we know after successful execution of any statement, for example, select query, for example, modify statement, update statement. Okay, for any successful execution, execution sci sub RC gets set zero. Sci datum means the current date, sci tabix means the current record in an internal table. So generally it's going to be used inside the loop and end loop okay this side tab x there is no meaning of psi index inside this loop and end loop there will be no impact on the psi index inside the loop and end loop the impact on the psi index the the fourth one over here you can see it will tell you the current loop pass so it will going to have the impact in the actual loop that means the do end do and the a while and end while apart from that it is not having any other impact okay so this loop and end loop is not our actual loop that's why the psi index is not going to have any impact okay only the psi tabix can have the impact because inside this loop and end loop the current uh, because generally we use loop at internal table into the work area right so in that case we can process some specific record in that internal table you know and this type side tabix will start pointing to that record so generally it points sequentially one by one one by one one by one right so side tabix will be used inside the loop and loop whereas side index can be used inside the do and do and while and while so site and site index tells you the current loop pass site tabix tells you the current record in uh, of an internal table which is being processed currently site use it means current time site fd pause it will tell you the current character it will tell you the position of the character for which you are looking for okay so generally we when we search for any a string for a particular string or a string then in that case psi ft pause value gets set psi zone low is nothing but the current time zone one another very important question can be over here what is the structure name which holds all the system variable so you have to tell over here 
that's name is the SYST structure very important SYST structure okay now let's move to the another question what are the important or frequently used string operation in ABAP concatenate replace search split offset shift and string length and consent these are very frequently used string operation in ABAP okay what are the frequently used character operation in ABAP contains only from contains not only from you can see CO CN CA NA CS NS CP NP what it's meaning CO means contains only from CN just opposite of CA uh, uh, just opposite of CO CA contains any from NA just opposite of CA CS contains a string NS just opposite of CS CP contains pattern NP just opposite of CP so maybe you can separate it like this okay so it will be easy for a remember fine what is internal table so internal table is nothing but it's a temporary memory allocated during the runtime of the program to store the data which is fetched from the table as soon as the session of the program is going to be completed that memory area will be released and content will be also deleted the same thing here i have written okay it is nothing but temporary table which is created nothing uh, created within the program session to hold the multiple records as soon as program execution is finished internal table temporary memory area gets released and hence content of it's also destroyed it does not store the records permanently now the very important interview question is what's the difference between internal table and db table okay so internal table you can tell that it holds the data temporarily during the session only here it holds the data permanently this is the very important you know the second it can be created through ac11 right db table sorry uh, internal table you will not be able to create in uh, ac11 however db table can be created in ac11 internal table can have the three types uh, internal table is of three types a standard table uh, sorted table and then the hash table three types of internal table we are having on the other hand db table we are having again of three types but the name is going to be different transparent table pool table and cluster table okay here we uh, we don't have any technical settings kind of stuff in the internal table however in the db table you can have the technical settings right delivery class size category data class correct so such kind of stuff can be there in this technical uh, settings in the db table but here there is no such uh, you know uh, no such technical settings internal table will be required for the batch update if you want to update a db table you must require an internal table without internal table you will not be able to update the db table right so internal table is very important what are the different types of internal table right sorted internal table uh, sorry a standard internal table sorted internal table and the hashed internal table correct fine What's the difference between refresh, clear, and free? What's very, very important question? Very, very important interview question. Refresh, clear, and free. So refresh will erase the content. Just it will delete the content. Suppose if you have a table over here, it will just delete the content. Okay, it will just erase this content. Okay, it will just erase this content. That's the meaning of a refresh. Clear, what is the meaning of clear? See, whenever, whenever, uh, table is created okay whenever an internal table is created it stores the memory also it allocates the memory also initial extent first extent second extent third extent fourth extent so based upon the number of records for, for, for example suppose in the initial extent you have, will having the definition okay you will having the definition and you may have you know uh, so generally initial extent uh, uh, initial extent of the memory will contain the definition of the uh, you know internal table 
first extent can contain some multiple records four five or ten or thousand or whatever lakhs of record but suppose if your table size is going to increase more than the first extent suppose you have uh, define the size category up to maximum 6000 so after that the once the size get uh, once the size is going to be increased it will allocate the second extent automatically okay so and again it will be able to you know store the 6000 records okay uh, again the total 12000 records will be there again the third extent will be allocated so these are the different different memory area in the here you can see you can represent like this this is the initial extent this is the first extent this is the second extent and then the fourth extent and all are like that we can have okay so what happens when we are using the clear statement clear statement will erase the memory area also it will delete the memory area also it will remove the memory area also along with the data right so if memory area will be deleted data will be certainly deleted right so data plus the memory area right the initial content extra content all this the first content initial constant all is going to be you know uh, uh, going to be erased when we are going to use the clear statement okay all this extra content initial constant will be there right clear when you are going to use the clear only the definition part will be there so it will erase the first content onwards not the initial content first content and extra content it will it will only keep the initial content uh, initial extent but in case of refresh it will only erase the data it will not erase the initial content first extent second extent third content right all the extra content related memory will be erased inside this clear clear statement only it will keep the initial extent okay free generally we use for the oops object okay there we can use to release the memory here a refresh a refresh can be used for internal table right in terms of huge this is the difference in terms of huge in terms of technical meaning this is the you know uh, this is the difference in terms of huge refresh can be used for the internal table clear can be used for work area and internal table both and free can be used to free the object memory okay what are the different types of internal tables operation we have we have insert append short describe table loop modify delete clear refresh free you know uh, append insert move collect all these are the internal table operation which we can do on the internal table what is the field symbol so let's stop over here in tomorrow class we are going to see about the field symbol bye bye have a nice day